I spend too much money on coffee. It's March already, and the topic for Speak Up, Link Up, or just Speak Up, whatever you prefer to call it. I've been calling it Speak Up, Link Up, but it is probably just Speak Up, so. This month's topic is truth, and um, last month, like, completely, pretty much sucked for me, and March, I mean, April, wow, I don't even know my days, months. See, I guess I just need to not stay up watching Parenthood on Netflix and Hulu until 2.30 a.m. There's a truth for you. January pretty much sucked, and February pretty much sucked um, in terms of the things that life was throwing at us, and it was hard to deal with, really hard to deal with, and um, I have better news this month. Um, the truth is, I hated both of the jobs that I had moving to Oregon. I absolutely love Oregon. It is, like, the most beautiful state I have ever been to. And I don't regret moving here. That's the truth. I don't. I miss a lot of things about living in California and my friends there, um... But in all honesty, I think moving here has really brought my husband and I through some things that we needed to go through. Um, I'd never lost a job before, ever, and I'd never been in such a work environment that was so high school that I hated going to work every day and cried when I came home. That's what the last job experience was for me. I tried really, really hard to make it work, and... Uh, just as I came to the, all right, I'm going to tough it out and just go to work and put a, my best face on, I got an opportunity and it just fell in my lap for, I don't know if I mentioned, um, in January I told you I was switching my major to nursing and I was going to leave it up to God and I did and God said, not right now, let me close that door. So I'm okay with that because his plan is usually better than mine. Truth. Um, but through working at an eye center, I learned a lot about what I want from an employer. And I was, I've was i always wanted to work part-time and stay at home more with my daughter. And I have that opportunity now. I am an office manager, head bookkeeper for a small consulting firm that does bookkeeping and accounting and payroll and things like that. Um, and I've been there like a week and a, and a day and it happened to, I dropped my daughter off at daycare and someone said, hey, you looking for a job? And I said, yeah, because it was kind of weird because I just decided that I would go to my old job and suck it up and hate it, but try and get through it as best I could like with intentions of fully like giving it up and saying this is where you have me God and I don't understand and I really hate it and I'm going to tell you every day how much I hate it but I'm going to try to make it work and like it and and be positive positive. and I got an interview and I got the job and I have Fridays off now which is amazing I mean I actually work today but because I chose to and my boss likes her kid goes to school with my kid and she totally gets the parenting thing and she's flexible and the whole reason is because she wants to be with her kids too. And I have prayed for this since I had my, like since I was pregnant with my daughter, this was always my desire to work part time and not have my work interfere with my family life because that is important to me. And I wanna be there for my daughter and I wanna be that mom. That is always what I've wanted to do. And the truth, that was revealed to me and over and over again in my life, but just this time is pray. Pray without ceasing and tell God what you want. He will give you the desires of your heart and sometimes he says, not right now, and sometimes he shows you things that reveal parts of your heart. I mean, he knows you. So f just praying and telling God your heart and I mean, I just can't believe where I am and what has happened in this six months since I've lived here. It's just so 
incredibly amazing and and that's the truth and my truth is is my faith and that's my solid and my steady and I'm excited about it and I'm in a much better place and I think I have to learn to get through those circumstances but I'm such an honest person I am honest with my feelings and reality and when I'm having a hard time you're probably gonna know because I just I spill I that's just me and I try to say is it me what's the circumstance like what do I need to get out of it I sometimes I just need to go through things to get to the other side and have that relationship that bonding and that trust where my faith is questioned and it's not about circumstances that make you happy. It's about deciding to be happy in the crappy situations. And you know, you can still be sad. I'm not saying don't be sad. I think maybe I should say joyful because happiness is a momentary. It's a, I don't even know if that's a word. It's moment by moment you feel happy, sad, those things, but joyful is something that you have deep down inside, that regardless of circumstance, you have it, and I'm joyful, and right now I'm really, really happy because things are working out, but I'm sure something's going to happen, and it's going to go downhill for a little while in the future, and, and that's okay because I'm, I'm growing, and I'm excited about that, and I love that. So that was a lot of blah 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 and talking. I hope that it can help someone though um, because I like helping people. So that's a truth. But another truth is I have for a very long time thought about getting a tattoo. A long time. And I didn't want to do it when I was younger because I might regret it and I didn't want to, I didn't know what I wanted or where I wanted it, but I always have wanted it to be a statement of faith. And I've decided that I'm, I'm going to get one right now, two at most. I don't, I don't have anything against a ton of tattoos, um, but I'm not a person that wants a ton of tattoos. I want two. I want one on my foot and the first one I want to get is going to be right back here. And it's going to be a heart with a little cross thing in the middle. And it's going to stand for my heart. Jesus has it. And he's in my heart. And all those things wrapped together. And it's just going to be a statement of faith for me. And I'm kind of excited and a little bit scared. But I think I'm going to do it. So it's probably going to hurt, isn't it? That's okay. I've already decided to do it. I think that's, that's what I have for today and this month. I'm excited to watch all of your videos and respond. I really like interaction with people. Okay, I'm just gonna back up. Let me share another truth. I'm a very people person. I like social, I like being social and I really love it when I hear from you guys and I love that I'm able to comment on things that we have in common or try and be there for you. Um, so if you have watched this video, just say hi so I know you're out there and watching me because I'd love to connect with you because I am a people person and let me know if I can pray for you for anything because that's another thing that I think is really helpful when not just you are praying but you have a whole team behind you praying and I think there's something really special about that. So if you need some prayer, let me know and I hope that you guys have a great rest of the month and that's the truth.